Hi everyone, Gene here with Mahalo.com. You know, graphic design can be extremely precision work. When you're creating art that's going to be downloaded into a machine and then printed, there's very little room for error. The info panel can save you a ton of time and a ton of stress. Let's bring up the info panel. You're going to find this option in the window menu and then go down and select info or you can press F8 as it shows you here. That'll bring up the info panel and this is, gives you a lot of information about what's going on in here. The basic sections of the info panel are the color information sections, the RGB references and the CMYK references. I'll show you that in a minute. And then we're going to find the then we go to the location section and this shows you where your mouse is hovering over the image that you're on. Then we have the selected area dimensions and if you select anything this is going to show you the width and height of the area you have selected. We have the estimated document size. Here Photoshop gives you an estimate of how large your file is going to appear once you save it. Finally we have the tooltip section which gives you uh, an idea of how to use each of the tools. This is especially helpful if you're a newcomer to Photoshop. Here's how the info panel can save you time and stress. In the file menu I'm going to pull up this Mahalo Web PNG. Now if I'm creating a layout for a website, obviously Mahalo.com already exists, but if I'm creating a layout for a website from scratch, and let's say I want to duplicate the cars and transportation panel. Now I'm not really sure what size all of this is, but if I come over here with the marquee tool, and I select, say, this photo right here, Then the info panel tells me the width and height of my selection. Here we can see it's 285 by 175. So I write this down, and 10 minutes later, if I'm back here and I want to create another image, I can come up to my marquee selection tool, select fixed size, I can type in the dimensions that I wrote down earlier, 285, 175, and then my selection is automatically going to be that size. So now I can fill this in and add a placeholder image anywhere I want. As you can see, now that I've added more information, the document size went up in the info panel. There are a couple of icons we can select in the info panel. The first one is next to the location of our mouse. Just click the little crosshairs and it'll give us our location in pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters, points, picas, percent. So I've just selected centimeters and now it's showing us on our image where in centimeters we're located. And these little droppers here next to RGB and CMYK just allow you to change which color mode that you're looking at. Web color, HSB, or lab color are your other options, along with grayscale. Well, that's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below. And uh, send any questions that you might have to request at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.